the 3D printed shell lives at the Birch Aquarium and a new 3D scanner is giving insight into how she's growing into that shell. News 8's Netta Aranpour shows us how this unique turtle is staying alive thanks to groundbreaking technology and some caring experts. This turtle, believed to be the only one of its kind in the world, with a shell that was printed thanks to three-dimensional technology. Now, that was about five years ago, and now similar 3D technology being used to scan this loggerhead. She may have gone from 90 pounds to 200, but she still has that same 3D-printed shell made of plastic. Uh, the prosthetic is on the opposite side of what you're looking at right now. So this kind of darker shade is the epoxy. Aquarist Kaylee Spencer points out the marine safe epoxy that's now covered in algae is really the only way you'd know this turtle has a printed shell, but also those are what the, um, her hind flippers should look like. Instead, her hind flippers are tucked underneath her and she can't move them. That's why she'll live here at the Birch Aquarium for the rest of her life, possibly another 75 years. She doesn't have the muscle strength to survive in the wild. So with those without those hind flippers. She was discovered from a power plant in New Jersey where she had scoliosis, her spine forcing her shell to grow into her reproductive organs. So they replaced the piece known as a scoot. And now as they carefully get this special turtle out of the water by way of naturalists guiding her into a basket, they'll be able to see how she's doing in a way that's never been done here before. A structured blue light 3D scan by the Digital Media Lab at UC San Diego's Geisel Library along with the UCLA Library. What's great about this technology is that it's allowing us to map how much she's growing and how much that 3D printed scoot might be shifting. It's quick, it's harmless, and they covered her eyes to keep her calm. She often um, hides her head where, you know, you can see her whole body, but if she has her eyes hidden, then she's like, okay, good, no one can see me. So it's kind of like a kid when you play peekaboo, you know. But they see her, all of her, all the grooves and curves that make her unique, and they were able to get her back in the water within about 30 minutes, much quicker than taking her to a different facility for a CT scan. This latest 3D scan gets overlaid with her previous CT scan to check for growth and changes, and what they discovered is this turtle is not yet growing out of her shell, which which in this case is a good thing. The prosthetic still fits. We didn't actually know. You know it was the first time this has been done, so we've just been very pleasantly surprised on how great it stayed in place and how much it's helped her. She's being shy right now for our cameras, but they will bring her out pretty regularly to have her 3D scanned so they can see how she's progressing. The 3D scans have been used on other sea life like coral, shark's jaws, egg sacs, sea stars, and urchin. Creatures that are complex and fragile can still be studied and their images can be saved and shared in digital form. The 3D technology is mind-boggling. <laughs> like The possibilities are really endless. And they've proven to be life-saving for a one-of-a-kind turtle whose life started out with many challenges. And now you'll catch her cruising at the aquarium. It's wonderful that we were able to provide a forever home for her, you know, and we were able to give her a better quality of life by doing this groundbreaking science. At the Birch Aquarium in La Jolla for Earth 8, I'm Netta Iranpour. That is so cool. Love that they're able to help her, love her personality, yes. and love that she has a long-term home. Right, and, and just, you wouldn't notice that that shell is yeah. a prosthetic if you didn't know, you know, That's she cool seems stuff. so comfortable in it. Yeah.